Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm speaking about Otto Skorzeny. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to drop me a comment below. Otto Johann Anton Skorzeny was born on June 12, 1908 in Vienna in Austria-Hungary as son of Anton Skorzeny and Florentine Sieber. Even before he graduated school, Otto Skorzeny joined the right extremist Deutscher Mittelschüler Bund Österreichs, the League of German Middle Students of Austria. After he graduated in 1926, he attended the Technische Hochschule in Wien, where he studied mechanical engineering and graduated in the year 1931. Skorzeny joined the Austrian NSDAP in May 1932 after listening to a speech held by Josef Goebbels, and two years later he also joined the Austrian SS, which at this time was an illegal organization in Austria. In the same year Otto Skorzeny married Margareta Schreiber. During the Anschluss in the year 1938, where the German Reich annexed Austria, Skorzeny participated in the encirclement of the Austrian Chancellery and was one of the SS members to arrest the Austrian federal president Wilhelm Miklas. After he surrendered to the National Socialist force, Otto Skorzeny transported the arrested president to his home. Skorzeny, together with his unit, also took part in the Reichskristallnacht on November 9, 1938, where National Socialists attacked Jewish synagogues, properties, as well as the Jewish people. Estimates say that several hundred Jews had been murdered. About 1,400 synagogues, businesses, apartments, and even graveyards had been attacked or destroyed. Between November 7th and November 13th, 1938, about 30,000 Jews had been interned into concentration camps. On January 30th, 1939, Otto Skorzeny was promoted to the rank of SS Untersturmführer. That rank corresponded to the rank of Leutnant in the Wehrmacht, and second lieutenant in the US Army. In the same year, he also married Emmy Linhardt after he divorced his first wife two years earlier. With Emmy Linhardt, he had one child which was born in the year 1940. Upon the outbreak of the Second World War, Otto Skorzeny volunteered to the Waffen SS, with whom he saw action during the French campaign as well as the Balkan campaign. While fighting against the Red Army during Operation Barbarossa, he was wounded in the year 1941. When he was recovering from his injuries, he served in a staff position in Berlin. Since April 1943, he served in the Reich Security Main Office, where he took over the Department for Training and Resistance Fighting. This department also planned acts of sabotage as well as command operations. In the same month, he also became a SS Hauptsturmführer, equivalent to the rank of Hauptmann in the Wehrmacht and Captain in the United States Army. In September 1943, he was promoted to the rank of SS Sturmbannführer and awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross for the liberation of the former Italian dictator Benito Mussolini. He was arrested after it Italy had left the Axis following the Allied invasion. Although Otto Skorzeny got the credit for Operation Oak, which was the code name for this liberation attempt, it was mainly Kurt Student and his paratroops that were responsible for the successful outcome of this operation. But Skorzeny and some of his S troops were present at this operation. Otto Skorzeny left the scene on the same plane as the former Italian dictator. After the July 20th plot, 1944, Skorzeny and his troops marched into the Bendler Block, where the Plotter's Command Central was established, with the order to arrest and to interrogate them. In October of the same year, Otto Skorzeny participated in Operation Panzerfaust, which targeted the Hungarian leader Miklos Horthy, after he was believed to have secretly negotiated with the Red Army and prepared Hungary to leave the Axis. Important government buildings were occupied 
and Miklas Horthy's son was kidnapped to Germany. Under the threat of his son's life, the Hungarian leader stepped down from his post and went into German captivity. In the same month, Otto Skorzeny was promoted to the rank of SS Obersturmbannführer, equivalent to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel in the US Army. During the Ardennes Offensive in December 1944, Skorzeny formed a command troop that was tasked to secure bridges behind enemy lines in American uniforms. But this command operation failed like the entire offensive. In January of the final year of the Second World War, Otto Skorzeny was tasked to fill a gap at the Eastern Theater at the bridgehead of Schwedt. During this posting, he sentenced the Volkssturm commander of Königsberg Neumark to death since he withdrew from the city without permission. After Skorzeny lost about 30% of his troops, Reichsführer SS Heinrich Himmler relieved him of his command. Otto Skorzeny surrendered to the US Army on May 16, 1945 in Annaberg im Lammertal. In the year 1947, he was tried by an American military tribunal for the war crimes committed during the offense, a then offensive in 1944, especially since he and his troops were wearing American uniforms. But he was acquitted after a British officer testified that Allied command troops also wore enemy uniforms. Following this trial, he was handed over to West German authorities for further investigations. But only one day before his hearing was supposed to begin, someone enabled Otto Skorzeny to escape. How he escaped and how he spent his life until 1950 is not undoubtedly reconstructed. Skorzeny himself claimed three SS men dressed up as US MPs picked him up from his camp. Other stories say that either the CIA or a French intelligence officer freed him. Otto Skorzeny claimed to have lived in West Germany and France. He had been photographed in France in 1950 when he reappeared. He sold his war memory, memories uh, manuscripts that he wrote in the meantime and moved to Madrid, Spain, where he lived under the protection of Francisco Franco. Skorzeny also worked as a military advisor for him, and in the following years, he also became an advisor for the Argentinian president as well as the Egyptian general Mohammed Naguib. In March 1954, he married for the third time after he had filed for divorce in 1950. While living in Spain, Otto Skorzeny built an engineering office company which prospered. During the mid 1950s, Skorzeny also participated in arms dealing as sales representative for the Spanish company Alfa. It is reported that Otto Skorzeny was used by the Israeli intelligence service Mossad to gather information about the Egypt missile program targeting Israel. Skorzeny is said to have cooperated with Mossad in order to avoid a similar fate like Adolf Eichmann. If you'd like to hear more about him, click the little eye in the top right of this video. In 1970, Otto Skorzeny founded a right-wing organization, the Paladin Group, a private security contractor to fight the spread of communism. Otto Skorzeny died on July 5, 1975 in Madrid at the age of 67. During his funeral in Vienna, his old comrades displayed the Nazi salute. Thank you so much for watching.